them to be become flesh reindeer. But that one is old. It's just he has made his career as a at least 20 30 years we have had uh, winters getting more unstable uh, and especially early winters uh, might have some snow and then rain and snow again and uh, it it makes ice covers which really cannot dig through and they can't get food in the winter as well as they used to. And also summers are getting uh, warmer and reindeer is not very good handling heat. Uh, it cannot sweat so uh, it very easily overheat and it might get hot summers might kill a lot of reindeer. Just dry hay. Mm. So. They eat it. It's uh, they don't like it as much as lichen, but they eat it. And it helps them to survive. I am worried, but I am also optimistic. I, I think that we will find solutions. They will not be easy ones, but we will make it because we don't have choice. I think it's impossible. I mean, here we are talking actually even more than 1.5. I mean, because uh, I, I think there's a, it is already a general um, understanding that the, uh, the, the north is actually the temperature is, is going faster. Uh, it's not like uh, the 1.5 is, a, it would be a threshold that shouldn't be uh, uh, crossed. But I mean, here we're going to go f beyond that. I mean, there are some uh, projections that they even talk about three degrees. You can see the economic profitability behind there so much because you have to put a lot of money in there uh, compared to normal situation that the reindeer it leaves out there in the way uh, finding it own finding it own food and you have to give it you know people usually call there where they have the economic profitability to get their living.
I'm hopeful with reindeer herding because we have lasted so far and I think we have a good future future in head of us but uh, the youth needs to be more active politically I think it's a big change and also we are all already seeing seeing more warm summers and more longer winters uh, every year and I think for us, it's uh, of course very scary situation.